<laughs> oh, okay, Ed, sorry. Um, I was talking to a guy. Uh, let's see if I can share my screen here. Um, oh, nice so looking house. Really nice. It's up yeah. in a nice area, uh, north, northwest Indiana. It's been on the market for 160 days. I finally got him on the phone today, and I was, uh, you know, talking to him about the opportunity. He was open to uh, a lease option, uh, but he's looking for, you know, ten thousand dollars, and uh, and he said he was uh, advertising the home for, you know, three to four thousand a month in the in the uh, in the ad here as well. So I, you know, I I told him that, you know, it looks like, uh, you know, his asking price is about, you know. Oh, you know, about uh, 45000 off. And, um, you know, he said that the area is working pretty good. It's a nice home. So, you know, going in that direction. But uh, uh, the rent, he's looking for, you know, $3,000. So that doesn't seem like it'd be a lot of room for me. So I'm just checking to see what your thoughts are. Uh, he's, the house is paid off. There was $60,000 done in the upgrades uh, to, you know, repair it. But uh, otherwise, it's a beautiful home. As you guys can see, so I'm just wondering what uh, what, what my next move should okay. be here. All right, well, slide down on the right here to, on the details and go to the uh, neighborhood section where it talks about appreciation, and let's just take a look at the area and see how much it's appreciating. That was the. Uh, it's hard for me to over. see a little bit because my video blocks my video for some reason. Oh. Uh, taxes. Oh. There's the rental value. Okay, says, rent. So okay, I'm showing the average is about twenty one hundred. Oh, okay, so red flag number one: the guy wants three thousand, <laughs> but the neighborhood rent is twenty one hundred, right? Right. Okay, so let's just keep that in our minds and let's slide down and look at appreciation. Uh, there we go. There we go. Whoop. Oh, wait. Yep, you were there. Go back up a little bit. There you go. There you go. Right there. Okay. Home values in the zip code have increased 5.4% over the past 12 months. Right. Not bad. Not bad. How long again would this guy be okay with? So he was open to, uh, you know, 36 months. Okay, so you could possibly get 15% in appreciation, maybe 16.2 even, okay. right? Am, right. I, am I thinking right or am I Yeah, crazy? it adds up each year, correct. Right, okay, so what is 16.2% on top of what it's worth today, which is three, slide up to the top. No, it's not worth 375. Right. Look, look at the top. Well, that's what he's asking. Right. 343 is the. Uh... Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. You, no, 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 you're right. Okay. So 375 is what he's asking. Okay. Yes. Yes. You're right. So yeah. you'd have to add 375 and then plus 16.2%. Is that what I said? Okay. All right. You guys see what I'm doing here in the Zoom room? Do you guys understand what I'm doing? 375 yeah. times 15%. Uh, That's uh, 56,250. Yeah, see, that's a lot. Scroll up and see what it's worth again. What did it say the Zestimate was? Three, 330 something? Uh, 343. Okay, 343 plus 16.2% is what? So 343, 654 times 15 uh, percent. Um, that is 51,548. Okay, 51,000. So that puts it up to 394,654 dollars. That's about the top of where you could really legitimately do a really good deal with a tenant buyer. So you could give him 375, you could find a tenant buyer for 394 and you could keep the difference. And then just get and then just get him whatever rent he wants, right? <laughs> the rent is the real issue here. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 
The rent is the real issue. How can we work with a $3,000 a month rent when the average rent in that neighborhood is 2,100? Hmm. Hmm. Could you talk him down at all? Well, that's the direction I have to go in. You know, I think if I get, you know, if I give him the price, I should get, you know, something on the, uh, on the rent. Maybe I'll give him another 10,000, give him 385. Okay. Here's what you do. You go back since you know, you can make the purchase price work with the appreciation expected appreciation and everything over the three years, the 36 right. months, since you understand that that'll all work. Right. Then you can give him his full purchase price. You try to talk him down on the rent value because he's asking too much monthly, but no matter what you end up with on the rental value that you and he agree, you know, you, you agree to it is what I'm saying and get it under contract and throw this one up against the wall and see if you can get somebody to come to the table. This here, it looks like a doctor. This here looks like a lawyer. This here looks like some kind of a CPA. Yeah. They might not give a shit between the difference of 2,200 and 3,000 yeah. or 2,700. You see what I'm saying? Yep. And it's like one of those spots where, you know, uh, it's right next to Chicago. So a lot of people, mm. you know, are, mm. are liking to move out of the city to this yeah. little neck of the woods. Yeah. So it's. And this estimate on rent might be crazy, stupid, wrong. I don't know. You might have to check another place or two just to verify, but I would I do this deal in a heartbeat, Ed. Yeah. Okay. Contract it, dude. I'm and gonna call him back today and uh, make that. Hey, I think you might be calling me right now. All right, dude. Good luck. Hello. All right. That was pretty good experience there. I'm glad Ed brought that one to the table. I hope everyone followed along the logic there when we're talking about a lease option and what you know how we figured out what the appreciation would be over the term kind of adding that to what the the value of today is to find out how far we can go with this person and still have some profits left and so on and so forth actually worked out really pretty good on that purchase price which is great he can still make a nice little chunk of money and if he can work out this monthly thing but see I've never done a deal ever in real estate that it didn't have something that I needed to work on. That's just, that's just how they all are. Okay. So, you know, the, the, see, he's over there going like, he must've scored dude. Go. What an awesome session we're having today. And I got a case study I want to do too after this, but we're kind of doing a live case study right now. It looks like. <laughs> Listen, can you go back over the the 16%? Yeah. Let me just share screens and go into it while he's uh, working it out with the guy. All right. So here we go. Um, well, he said the house was, I'm going to work with what I can try to remember out of the thing. Okay. Seller was asking. Was seller was asking. Go ahead. Seller had it at 375. Zillow had it at 343. Okay. 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 Now the, the, the appreciation in the neighborhood, I found that it was 5.4% per year, okay? And it was right there on Zillow. Oh, okay. So you just took that times the three because he was saying 36 months. That's how yeah. you put it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you do 5.4 times three, right? And then that equals 16.2%. Okay. So what, we, man, I'm not typing at all. Something happened. 5.4 times 3, and then that equals 16.2%, and then, oops, wrong button, and then we take the value, 343K, and we add 16.2% to it, or better, better yet, we go 5.4%. And then we add 5.4%. And then we add 5.4% because, in fact, the answers to those two equations are different. Okay. So this is really how you would do it. And that equaled, what was it? 394 something. Okay. Right. Okay. So the asking price, remember, is 375. Right. 
So he could still put it under contract for 375 lease option. And he has a potential of $19,000 in profit here. The difference between 394 and 375 is $19,000. Okay. Well, that's how that, that's how I did that. Now, that means ding, 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 go get that one, right? If the rental thing, that's the only other caveat to analyzing these is the purchase like this, purchase right. price, and then the, the, the rental. Can we make the rental work? Looks like Ed's ready to come back on the scene. Oh, okay. Oh, there he is. All right. That was, uh, that was him. And uh, he yeah. said he just uh, got a phone call from, uh, from an agent that has a doctor that his uh, house burnt down. And uh, he said that, uh, you know, they're interested in renting the house. And uh, I told them that I would, you know, do the 375. And uh, I was trying to get the, uh, the rent situation taken care of. He said, well, how about if I give you the phone number to this agent? Because uh, they're willing to pay $4,000. So I'll give it to you for 3000 And you can make $1,000 a month on it. And I said, that sounds fantastic. So he's calling the agent uh, to make sure it's okay to talk to me. And, uh, Holy shit. <laughs> We're going to go from there. Holy yep. shit. Holy shit. You're going to sandwich it and you just created potentially here. We're, we're talking about it. Potentially a thousand dollars a month in passive income for yourself, you and your family. Absolutely. Hold on. Where's my fucking cowbell? Come on. We're ringing that bell, baby. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm dying to get my first deal. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you might have just got it right there, sir. Congratulations yeah. to you. What an awesome, awesome thing. Exciting. Yeah. Maybe you could have him put 19K down. Doesn't that make sense? That makes a lot of sense, Ed. 19K down plus 1000 a month in your pocket. Holy schmoly. Super. That would be a great first hit. Man, how's that? If that don't wet your whistle, you know what I mean? If that just doesn't get you excited. You know, I don't yep. know what would. Yep. The shit, you know, if you don't want that deal, I'll do it, okay? <laughs> and I gotta say, you know, uh, for anyone that's out there that's uh, nervous to make calls or anything, stop that. Just make the phone call. No more questions.